We're through the first two rounds at Wimbledon. And with that being said, let's go ahead and recap those opening two rounds. What's up, everybody? It's John Eric Poli enjoying the 2024 Wimbledon Championships. And with that being said, it's time to review the opening two rounds by going over the good, the bad, and the ugly. In today's video, we'll be checking out the men's side of things. Let's get started, as always, with the good. And I'm going with Carlos Alcarez, the defending champ, looking very good so far in his title defense here. Alcaraz making it look easy, hitting so many big shots, hitting so many shots that are so difficult that he makes look so easy. The kid has all the talent in the world. He's an absolute phenom. It is absolutely going to be right in the mix of things when this tournament is all said and done. Now I want to give a quick honorable mention for the good. I have two of them here today. Going to get started with the new world number one, Yannick Sinner. I know Sinner maybe didn't get off to the fastest start here. He lost a set in the opening match. But then in the second round, he faces Matteo Berrettini in an all-Italian matchup. Berrettini being a former Wimbledon finalist. And Sinner is able to get a four-set victory over him. That was a big win. Sinner has a tough draw, but so far looking good for Yannick Sinner. Also, guys, want to give a quick honorable mention, too, to Novak Djokovic. I know it's going to be an uphill battle for Djokovic. He's dealing with a lot with that knee. He even admitted he thinks he still could be playing better and quicker. He's hoping as the tournament goes along that that stuff will improve. But given everything that's going on around Novak Djokovic, you have to be happy with the start he has at this year's Wimbledon Championships. Now we move along to the bad. I have two people in this category here today. First one I want to talk about is Casper Ruud. And listen, this one shouldn't be really too big a surprise that Ruud lost very early, losing in the second round. This is the third time now, that the third straight year actually, that Casper Ruud has lost in the second round. He's never seen a third round of Wimbledon. He has all the talent in the world. We know that. He's very good on, on clay and he's very good on hard courts too at times. But this is just a surface he cannot grasp. Very sad to see for a top 10 player in the world. Also, guys, I want to talk about Ben Shelton. Shelton's a guy that a lot of people had high hopes for in this tournament because of his big serve. So far, it has been pretty. Now, he's still alive in the tournament. He did win two five setters, but still, you expect a little bit more out of Ben Shelton. Let's see if this, as this tournament goes along if he can improve. But right now, Shelton, I think, is in trouble in this tournament. Now, let's move along here today to the ugly. And I have two guys here to talk about in this category as well. Gonna get started with Hubert Hukarts. For Hubert, I'm very upset to see this here. He was a guy that was playing so well coming into Wimbledon. He had pushed Yannick Sinner to the brink in a tournament in the lead up here. He's a big server, the best serving percentage on tour. He exits real early in this tournament, losing in round two. I understand that, uh, you know, a little banged up there. He suffered an injury within that second round matchup loss there. But still, uh, this is a guy that a lot of people had high hopes for, myself included, in this tournament. Sad to see him leave so early. Also want to talk about Andre Rublev. And I know that Rublev is supposed to be more of a clay court specialist. His two ATP 1000 wins in his career have come on clay. But he's also made the quarterfinals in every single major tournament, including Wimbledon last year. I mean, Rublev to lose so early, losing in the first round, having that temper tantrum the way that he has... It's just not a good look. And for Rublev, I know he did win that Madrid tournament this year. But outside of that, it's been a really bad 2024. And recently, he's been losing in the first round in just about every single tournament he enters. I don't know what's going on with Rublev. I don't know if he needs a break, if he's burnt out. But something's going on here, and it definitely has to be addressed. So that was the good, the bad, and the ugly on the men's side of things through these opening first two rounds of Wimbledon. It's been a very fun tournament so far, guys. A lot of headlines, a lot of notes out there from this opening round. It's a fun tournament, and we're in store for a great ending here at Wimbledon. Wimbledon.